YouTube, it's Jonathan and welcome to my July favorites. This video is a little bit bittersweet because it is the last video that I'm ever going to be filming in this bedroom setup as you see it right now. I haven't talked about it on my YouTube channel yet, but I have talked about it quite a few times on my Instagram. I posted pictures of some of the furniture that I've been buying and how I've been setting stuff up. Um, and yeah, so if you are interested in seeing some of the behind the scenes of my new house, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Also, look out for a video that's probably going to be up next week or the week after where I kind of take you on a tour of the house as it was when it was empty and kind of show you some of the putting together of the house and then I'm gonna do like a little kind of not really a tour because that's kind of weird to me but kind of just show you like this is the living room before and this is the living room after and this is my filming space before my filming space after kind of thing um, but yeah, keep your eyes out for that because that should be like sometime in August. Like I said, this is the last video that I'm going to be filming in my bedroom. I just need to move my bed and my picture and my filming equipment and then I will be pretty much all moved in. Alright, let's move on to my actual favorites, what this video is about. I have them all in my lap right here and I'm going to start off with skincare. I have two things to talk about. I have already talked about this in last month's favorites, and I also did a skincare video in which I mentioned both of these. But this one is my Clarisonic Mia 2. I'm not going to talk about it much because I have talked about it quite a bit on my channel this month, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. it makes my skin look awesome. And then I also want to talk about my Tarte Maracuja Oil. Girl, get this. If you have dry skin, even if you don't have dry skin and you just want to look cute and glowy, this oil is the bomb. I normally just use it at night, but if I'm having like a day where I either really want to be glowy or I just feel extra dry, I will just apply a couple drops of this to my dry skin before my normal moisturizer and it just gives my skin an extra bit of moisture and glow and it's just beautiful and it makes my skin feel really soft. It's got a lot of vitamin C in it, so it's supposed to kind of brighten your skin um, over the course of wearing it. And I have kind of noticed that my skin has been more even toned this month. I do have, you know, a couple spots. That's normal for me. But um, overall, like, my skin is one color, which is nice. I guess this is sort of skincare. This is a shaving product. This is Cremo Cream, and it is exactly what it says on here. I'm just going to read it. The astonishingly superior shave cream and possibly slick water-activated molecules dramatically reduce nicks and razor irritation can give you the closest, most comfortable, long-lasting shave. Leaves your skin astonishingly soft and smooth. Try it once to believe it. Enjoy it for life. It's really that good. And they're not kidding. It's really that good. I have shaved with all sorts of things over the course of my shaving life. Um, most of which have been like samples from Birchbox and things that I have picked up. And I picked this up at the drugstore the other day because I saw um, a review on it and it said it was awesome. And I was like, okay, you know what? It's like eight bucks. Let's try it. And... I just, I, I just, I can't. It is literally, like, I have not shaved in the last couple days, but it literally makes my face feel, like, naked, like, like a five-year-old, like, makes my face so smooth. I don't, I, it's witchcraft. It's magic, and you need to try it, and it's really inexpensive. Let's talk about hair for a quick second. Like I said, I've been moving this month, so quick and easy things that get me out the door are the best. Um, this dry shampoo from Bosley, it's their Bos Renew Volumizing Dry Shampoo, is the bomb. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before. Dry shampoo has been like extra necessary for me this month because I've been moving. Um, I've had like early mornings trying to move stuff, late nights painting stuff, um, and this is just a huge time saver and it's the bomb. I like it because it doesn't leave my hair like gross and like thick feeling. Sometimes I do want my hair to feel super producty, but um, when you're blonde and your hair is super producty, sometimes it just looks dirty. So dry shampoo. It's great and it makes my hair soft and good and big and dry and not gross looking. These next two products are similarly packaged, but they could not be more different in price and what they do. This is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. It's just like a little, basically like a lipstick shaped sugar cube that you rub on your lips to make them soft and smooth. I use this before I wear any sort of matte lipstick and it works. Um, I've been using this for actually a couple months. I bought this like uh, early on in the summer and I really like it a lot. Um, there's not really much to say about that. It's super cheap and it works. I like it. I like the fact that it's like a stick a lot more than I like a traditional like scoop up lip scrub. I don't, uh, this is weird for me. Um, I'd rather just kind of use the lipstick um, bullet to do it. And then this is the Smashbox lipstick in the shade Fireball Matte. You saw this in my Emma Stone tutorial. Girl, if you are into the orange lip trend or the matte lip trend or the mixture of the orange matte lip trend, get on it. It's like the most 
beautiful shade of orange with a little hint of red in it. It's not like a red with orange, it's more of an orange with red. Um, and it's the most beautiful matte formula ever. It's uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie, but it stays, like, through eating food. I've been mixing together these two products. This is the Smashbox CC Cream and the Tinted Moisturizer Illuminating from Le Mercier in the shade Bare Radiance and the shade Light. Um, I, yeah, I just mix these in my fingertips and apply them. They give me good coverage from this and great glow from this, and the colors together kind of mixed in with one another make my perfect kind of summer color, I guess. The mix of these together have just been great for me all month. They, again, add to that quick and easy thing. I can just throw them on with my fingertips, blend them in really well. They give me enough coverage where I don't really need concealer around my face, and they give me enough glow that I don't really need to be piling on the highlighter, which I'm going to talk about some highlighters in just a second. But I just, it's quick and easy and great, and I've been wearing it a lot in July. And another foundation that I'm going to talk about, again, on that quick and easy, is the Liquid Veil from Pure Minerals. I have talked about this far too many times for my own good on this channel, but it's the bomb. I'm just going to throw it out there that it's like my favorite foundation of the moment for when I want an actual foundation and not like a CC or BB cream. This feels like air on your skin. It literally feels like you're not wearing anything. Gives you a nice glow because it's uh, hydrating. It says infused with liquid crystals and like when you read the box it talks about how it's hydrating and it's anti-aging and it's moisturizing and it's great and I absolutely love it. But this product um, is super simple. I just spray it onto a brush and just kind of like swirl it onto my face. You can layer it for more coverage or use a tighter packed brush for more coverage. Um, but yeah, I, this is the shade light. My powder of choice recently has been the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. This is a pressed powder. It does exactly what it says. It sets your makeup, but it doesn't leave your skin like super, super chalky or matte. It's a very fine powder and I like it a lot. Um, you can use this, I believe, as a primer if you have more of an oily com or combination skin type. Um, I'm dry. So I've just been using this around my under eyes, across my nose, chin, and the center of my forehead just to kind of keep those areas not super oily. I actually have four of the last thing that I'm going to talk about, and they are the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania shadows. These are loose eyeshadows in a jar, um, but I've been using them as facial highlights. I picked up four shades for all different skin tones so that I could take them with me when I do bridal makeup and things like that. So for light skin tones, I have Nude, and then I also have Sky Pink. This one is better for more of a warm light skin tone, and this one is better for more of a cool light skin tone. It's kind of got a little bit of a pinky iridescence to it, and this one's more of just like your traditional champagne highlight. Then for medium skin tones, I have Mink, and this one is kind of neutral, so it would work either for warm or cool skin tones. And then for deep skin tones, I got Oro, which is like a beautiful gorgeous gold shade and this I mean they're all eyeshadows as well but this makes a really pretty color for blue eyes. I've just been applying these with a little fluffy brush on the tops of my cheeks um, or really anywhere that I want to highlight on my face. I've been super into the highlight as is everybody right now. Strobing is a big old trend but I'm never gonna not bronze so let me throw that out there. I'm still gonna be bronzing whether I'm contouring or strobing or whatever. I'm too white to not bronze. It's not I don't know why we would, why, why. Alright, those are all of my July favorites, and this is the end of the last video that I'm ever going to film in this bedroom. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions about any of the products that I spoke about today that I maybe didn't explain quite as well as I could, leave me a comment down below so that I can answer that for you. Also, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You should check me out on Instagram and Twitter if you're not already following me there. Both of those things are at John John Talks, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face right now. I'll talk to you all next week. Bye! Bye.